Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I want to talk about nurses starting medical tourism agencies and why the skills you learn as a nurse benefit you as a medical tourism facilitator. So the way I chose this subject is today I actually called all of our new members and welcomed them to the membership program. This is something that I typically do uh, when someone joins the membership, I'll call them, I'll find out more about the founder, what they're trying to achieve in medical tourism. That way I can better assist them as a member. And I noticed that a substantial amount of the new members were nurses uh, starting medical tourism agencies. And this is a new, ever since I got into medical tourism, nurses, doctors, healthcare workers of all sorts have started medical tourism agencies. But today I just noticed that most of the new members uh, were medical tourism facilitators and they had a nursing background. So that's what gave me the idea to make this short video to cover some of the transferable skills uh, that give nurses an edge as medical tourism facilitators. So as a nurse, a lot of times you're in situations that require you to think on the next level and utilize your problem solving skills. And that's helpful when you run a medical tourism agency because you constantly have to think about the next step, especially when you're planning the trip. And when you're a medical tourism facilitator and you're coordinating these international trips for your clients, there's a lot of different moving pieces. So you constantly want to go over scenarios in your mind and think about things that could possibly happen and how to help your clients navigate through the system and have the smoothest trip possible. So thinking ahead, problem solving and critical thinking, you have to use that all the time as a nurse and you're going to have to use that as well as a medical tourism facilitator. For an example, you could have a patient who is in a foreign country, has limited mobility from a surgical operation. And as the agent, it's your job to guide that patient and give that patient information to help them have the smoothest trip possible. And one way you could do that is you could suggest more helpful options. For example, if they have limited mobility from a surgical operation, depending on their budget, you may want to suggest that they get a first class seat. Um, so they have more space and they're more comfortable on their flight home, especially these international trips. A patient may appreciate that. And it may be something that they didn't think of that you can suggest to them uh, that helps them out and make them have a better trip and make sure that they're comfortable on their trip. This type of critical thinking uh, helps the patient. Um, and this type of information helps the patient. And it's your job to make these suggestions and to give these helpful opinions to the patient. So problem solving and critical thinking is important in medical tourism. Another transferable skill that I believe a lot of nurses have is being organized and paying attention to detail. And this helps nurses who are becoming medical tourism facilitators because medical tourism facilitation is all about orchestrating a trip for your clients. If they want to participate in recreational activities, making sure you set that up, making sure they catch their flights, making sure that they have everything organized and everything planned out on their medical trip. And so organization is huge as a medical tourism facilitator and a lot of nurses possess that skill and it helps them out tremendously as medical tourism facilitators. Another skill that I've observed that a lot of nurses have is the ability to keep their composure in stressful situations. If you're a nurse, I'm sure you've had your fair share of patients who've said obscene things to you and rude things to you. So you're probably no stranger to highly stressful situations where people are really emotional and the ability to keep calm in these scenarios help you as a medical tourism facilitator because you have to keep in mind, uh, you're dealing with patients when you're a medical tourism facilitator as well. The only thing is that these patients are abroad or they're in another country, uh, but they still may call you and be irate and be upset and be highly emotional, uh, maybe on medication from their procedure. And you have to deal with these patients and stay calm and not get upset when they have frustrations or when they're really upset about a certain situation. So keeping calm and keeping your emotions in check is really important. And you have to learn that as a nurse and as a medical tourism facilitator that also helps you as well which brings me to my next point which is empathy and compassion as a nurse you see a lot of scenarios that are unfortunate you have to be compassionate with these patients and the same thing goes with your medical tourism clients they may be going through emotional things uh, during their trip you want to be empathetic and compassionate with them just like you are with your patients in the clinic or the hospital you work in another transferable skill as well is adaptability um, as a nurse, you might have to work long hours. You might have to work short hours. Um, your schedule can be all over the place, depending on many different factors. And the same thing with medical tourism. As a facilitator, you may be working with different clients in different time zones. So you have to adapt to that schedule. And since adaptability is something that a nurse has to have, this is something that will help you as a medical tourism facilitator if you do have to deal with scenarios like this. So the last topic I'll cover is working with people from different walks of life and with different personalities. 
So as a nurse, you have to deal with people from all walks of life who have different personality traits, and you have to be able to work with those people and make sure they have the best outcome. That's going to help you as a medical tourism facilitator because you're going to be working with international patients from all over the world who need different things, and you have to make sure that you're able to adapt to their unique personalities and make sure they have the best outcome possible. So if you are a nurse and you're interested in the medical tourism industry, reach out to me. I'm going to leave my contact information below, but thank you guys for watching this short video, and I hope you have a good day.